Greetings, guys, girls, and fellow gamers. My name is Games of Cakes, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die Alpha 17. We are at the evening of day 19, so we have two more days, one and a half days, one and a half more, half one days, and we have day 21, evening, horde night again. So we want to go back to our old horde base because that's that's our horde base, yeah? But we want to upgrade it. Now, the problem is I don't have any tool and die sets, so we are at the mercy of RNG to make bullets, and we can't change that. So what we have right now is a little bit of ammunition we have some we have quite a lot of shotgun shells so what we might do is go to the trader and see if we can buy some bullets we still have a little bit of money for the trader also i was told that i can actually make some things in here that sell for quite some time uh, quite some good money i forgot which one it is but one of the tables yeah we're gonna have to craft so the picnic table i believe yeah so we want to check that out as well and see if we can sell a few of them and make some money and then buy all the bullets that we need hopefully we're gonna get a few and we want to take this turret here that we crafted well that we bought and use this um for heart night and we might do dart traps i actually have no idea how to unlock them we're gonna check that out now so and we're gonna make the motorcycle so a lot to do a lot to get on with and it's nighttime as well we should make interesting especially when we're gonna have screamers coming in but our trusty why are you not burning hey why are you not burning that mod is not... Okay, see now you're burning. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we have a lot to do. We want to make a motorcycle as well if we can. So we're going to get into that too. I hope you guys are going to have a good time with the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. So we're going to queue up some cement here. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's favor that. And let's queue up more cement here and more cement here very good i like it did we put in all of them stones yes we did actually this is really really good so we're gonna be able to make a lot of cement there we go nice and another 500 beautiful excellent okay so having cement on the go um, at least we can continue with our build and we don't have to wait around for that. Now, let's see what we need to make a motorcycle. To make a motorcycle, we need a motorcycle chassis and a motor... That requires forged steel 30. This requires forged steel 6. So that should be straightforward. We have all these ingredients. 12 duct tape, 24 duct tape. I don't think we have that. We need to make more duct tape. So we have bones, we have all that nonsense. So let's get a little bit of uh, drinks here. Um, murky water, yeah, let's take these guys. And we didn't make an infinite water source yet, so let's do that. Where do I have that? Do I have it in crafted? Where is my water bucket? I don't know where my water bucket is. <gasps> it's in gardening, that's where it is, yes. Okay, so we're gonna put somewhere here um, temporarily a little hole and we're gonna put uh, the infinite water source in there let's put it right here in the corner for now and um go from there there we go nice excellent beautiful and um let's get these guys filled up oh that didn't work i switched too fast there we go and then this little corner will give us water again. Excellent. So let's put that back into gardening and leave it there. Now, um, that means we can make a lot more glue right now, which we need a campfire for, which is in here and we can't access. I really wish you could access things through the actual um, bars because it makes sense. You can put your hands through it. So I don't see why you can't access it. Really don't understand it. Oh, it's nighttime. Now we have the door closed here for a reason so that we can see zombies coming in from here. Now we need a lot more flagstone to fill in this wall so the zombies are coming literally only from the one side if they happen to come here like screamers or whatever. But for some reason they keep hitting the wall. So I just noticed uh, that I actually I need an engine. So we have to wait for morning and go and grind some cars for an engine. But I think I have everything else. So what do we need in total to make the motorcycle? I just uh, made a land claim block so I can move my workbench in so we can start crafting the motorcycle. But what we actually need is we need wheels. Do we have wheels or can we make wheels? We have one wheel. So can we at least make a wheel? We can in our inventory and we actually only need some acid there we go and a little bit of that and 
Oil. Yes, one, two. There we go. We can put the rest of the nails away as well. What are we missing now? Scrap. Then we have that. Oh, lump of coal. Okay. Where do we have coal? It would be in the ammo. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, I would have used up all the coal. So we're going to have to go grinding for that as well. Where could I find coal quickly? Let me see. Is there any small rocks nearby? Yeah, there's some over there. Let's test out that steel pickaxe. It's mighty quick. And we, did we get any coal? I don't think so. I could, didn't see any coal. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, yes. Lovely. Loving these multipliers. Also, the sledgehammer is one of the weapons now that you guys said I should probably try out now. Um, again, let's craft a new one. So we have a good max quality one. Let's craft this one while we wait. We now have, so let's put in here everything we need, or let's put in here everything we need for the bike. So we have a wheel. We need a second wheel. So here we go. We have the two wheels. Now, what else do we need for the motorcycle? We need, in total, 30 and 6. So 36 steel, which we have here. Excellent. So we can put that in there. So we have the steel. Nice. What do we need on mechanical parts? 12 plus 12. And, oh, we actually need, yeah, a battery. A battery as well. And an engine. So let's do the battery. We have a battery. We can take a level 1 because I don't think it matters really what level of battery we have for the bike. I don't think it cares. Oh, there we go. We have a screamer coming in. Let's make sure we're going to shoot it right in the face. Where are you? Oh, they're walking away. That wasn't the screamer then. Okay, I thought we had a screamer coming in. There we go. I didn't realize I was still crouched. <laughs> okay, so we have the bat. It was a screamer. Yeah, she's gone. Did she call anybody? Yeah, she called. She called. I'm right-clicking like a mad bastard, and nothing is working. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay. I think I want to be up here next time they come. So they're forced to come up here and I have them in a nice single file. That would probably be better. No loot bags. You would think like when you have a couple of horny zets in the middle of the night that we'll get some loot bags. Okay, fair enough. Maybe not. Let's see if we have a tablet here. Nice. Very good. I don't think the, the, even the antibiotics will work on what we have right now. Let me see. Yeah, because it's not infected yet. You see, it's just an illness. That's that illness book again, because I died earlier. It's just went from two minutes to the 40 minutes one. And after that, it will probably turn into infection or whatever. And then we can try again with the antibiotics. But we'll see. Anyway, let's have a quick drink and then continue. So what else do we need for the motorbike? Um, we need mechanical parts. 12. We need 24 mechanical parts. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Sorry, I'm just wasting the night because I don't want to really go to hard bases or anything um, in the middle of the night. So I decided that I'm going to think about what kind of patterns to put in place. So let's go and kick to get rid of that. Let me 
me see. We can put another one in there, yeah. And that turns around and... Oh, look, we fit another one in. Nice. Lovely. Oh, I like that design. I know dogs can jump through that, but I really like that design. It looks nice. And um, zombies can't get through that. Crawlers can. But in the end of the day, you know, just that's just what it is. But I like the look of it. And I like that it's literally at that level, you know, where the smoke kind of goes through it, which is lo lovely as well, I think. So, like I said, I'm not a huge designer. Um, I'm no Z Nation, but um, we are trying our best. Now, up here, we might make some round windows. Let's see what they look like. So, if we do this here oh actually let's see if we can do oval windows that would be pretty neat and either do round windows let me see if we can do that and see what they look like or we will leave them oval i think oval might look better instead of round like sorry not oval arched i think arched looks better than round and um then we're going to put a plate yes exactly so can we make a flag plate is that something we can do flagstone plate nice oh lovely 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 so let's actually see if we can make about 20 of those and then we make a couple of more Flagstone arch. There we go. Excellent. Um, let me see if we can copy the rotation of that. Is that gonna be flat? No, it's not, is it? No. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can do that. nice oh it doesn't line up oh what a pity okay stop the stop the presses stop the presses um let's scrap this ah what a pity i thought that would look good i forgot they actually kind of become smooth if you know what i mean there we go oh yeah they become smooth so what we might actually do is um put the normal blocks in between here like that. Excellent, yeah. And then we can put the next one here. Like so. And now we can actually stick with simple rotation. There you go. Oh, that looks good. I like that. And I actually like that um, they're offset by one block every time, which is really lovely as well. I think we have another Screamer potentially coming in. Nope. Okay, so let me finish the top here while we wait for morning. And then we're going to go out, get an engine, make the motorcycle. And then we're going to have to think about dart traps as well. Dart traps, yes. Ah. Where are you coming from? Oh, you're picking the door is the weak spot. Okay. Hello? Okay. Need forged iron. We don't have any forged iron on us. I have a few in the forges, but that's for a different day. Um... There we go. Yeah, I want to leave them brick. I don't want to upgrade them to um, concrete. Now, somebody's saying that a hammer is quicker in upgrading blocks like uh, that only need one upgrade but that this is faster to upgrade um, multiple levels. Yeah, 
because sorry this only takes one click absolutely so we have to kind of do a mix of things all right we kept ourselves entertained throughout the night with uh making our first set of stairs now it's very close to the wall so but i think it's okay yeah i think it's okay yeah i like it we might can um do something with that at some point like i said i'm not i'm not perfect well i'm far from perfect when it comes to making these uh, designs so um this is gonna be all concrete because they're gonna be outside walls absolutely just like we have here very good nice and then we can upgrade to reinforce concrete once it's all dry Okay, excellent. And I think this is enough concrete for the moment. Oh, we actually need more concrete. There we go. And we probably should queue up more cement here. Let me see. Cement. Why only 100? Oh, okay. I think this is 1,050. Okay, so 999. A thousand, yeah. I was just about to say, like, that would be unusually low. Yeah, I don't think that will be happening. So we're going to queue up 750 here. Because I, made, I started making metal with these uh, forges as well, of course. 750, there we go. And... 500 here i would say excellent okay so we have steel we have forged iron what we need now is go to the trader to sell some goodies and hopefully buy some ammunition there we go and um then we're going to be able to make the motorbike so let's get an engine and then we have all the ingredients actually we need to learn it our thing is finished now our Motorcycle can be crafted, so we can actually queue up right now all the parts we need for it. So let me just get rid of the mailer tools, uh, the tools we have here, because we have steel tools now. Oh, we can only make a level 5 sledgehammer, of course, because I crafted it while I was on the buff. So I forgot how to make a level 6 sledgehammer. So let's put that in there and make another one. So this is what the sledgehammer fully upgraded looks like. Nice. Still needs two hits, though, on a zombie. Interesting. Oh, she just went bazunga. And that was it. Bazinga, I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Now, this is the mod that obviously only fits onto that one, so we can leave that on that. There we go. Now, we are more short on this one. But look at the damage it does. It does a hell of a lot more damage. But I think we want to bring this along and um leave that in here because this is extremely slow the sledgehammer so if we have a lot of ferals we might not actually want to have that now um let's leave some of the stuff here all we need now is an excuse me is an engine let's go to the trader we have the money here and see if we can get better barter and this is intellect level 10. We're now at intellect level 8, and we need 4 points to get to level 9. Holy balls. Okay, so um, let me see. We have, actually, we have, that's the nerd classes. We have these guys. So we can wear them for a loot bonus and buried treasure radius. Oh, okay, loot bonus. Yeah, we're going to wear them when we go grinding. I thought that was good for selling stuff as well, which it isn't. So um, let me get my bearings. Let me empty everything. Then we're going to go find an engine, go to the trader, and um, hopefully get some ammunition. All right, that took some time to get ready. I made... Oh, my balls. What are you getting stuck on a little hibbledy hip for? Genie marker balls. Anyway, um, we made everything level six, level six wrench, level six hunting knife. Absolutely fantastical. Now all we need is a level six bow. <laughs> so we have level six of everything, which is gonna make everything a lot easier. So the cars should be coming down really fast now. But first we're gonna go here, see if we can sell all the picnic tables. 
Am I going to the back? I'm going all the way around, am I? Yeah, of course. I'm Dingus McDanger, and um, that's what we do. We're gonna start at the front, go past the front, go all the way around. It's a security thing. Oh my balls, this is unbelievable. The, the bike's physics definitely need some work. It's like, go bananas or go home. Anyway, there we go. I love that we have a burning uh, sledgehammer. That's just amazing. Okay, so let's see what you got well, here. How do you do, friend? Can I see your inventory? What do you use? actually look at this? Two thousand for a knife, four hundred and sixty-eight. Now let's see if we can sell all the picnic tables. There we go. That worked out well. I like it. So let's see what we have here on ammunition. Do we have any ammunition? I don't think so. Wow, he sells no ammunition. <sighs> okay. Ooh, we got some plate traps. Can we buy all of them? I think we should, definitely. And we should buy a generator bank. It saves us the, re the hassle of making it. And, ooh, that is expensive. Yeah, we don't need that. Oh, an engine. Okay. We just saved ourselves as a trip. Awesome. <laughs> that is pretty cool. And yes, a chainsaw would be handy, but we don't need one. We're actually rocking pretty hard on um, a muzzle brake. Diverts propellant gases to reduce recoil. I have no idea what this is for. I will buy the wheel, though. Of course I will buy the wheel. Military fiber. Um, maybe. So we can repair some stuff. And anything else? I think that's it. Yeah, we're gonna buy the paper for some ammunition we hopefully can craft someday. And oh yeah, do you have a tool and a die set, good sir? No. Nope. Sorry, I didn't have what you needed. Come back soon. We restock. Okay, that was weird. Um don't be sorry. Be better. Next time just have what I want in stock or else. Let's see what these machines have for us. Um, yeah, definitely get all the red tea, absolutely. Yeah, you know what, we're gonna buy everything because um, I think some of these have recipes, I just don't remember off the top of my head which ones. So we're gonna buy all of them. Gonna buy all the beer as well. Gonna buy all the water, why not, who cares? Anyway, that's what money is for, to be spending it. Okay, so let's go. Yeah, we're not gonna go to the hard point. Um, I'm gonna actually leave this episode here. We, it was all building, um, but, 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 um, I have been preparing behind the scenes for um, some Horde Night stuff because we can't make ammunition for turrets and we're not gonna have enough bullets. So, but we were able to craft some dart traps and some darts, which are still crafting, of course. So, um, yeah, that's a thing. So, we're gonna see how that goes. Maybe dart traps will be good for the next Horde Night. We'll see. Anyway. I'm gonna leave this episode here guys. Let me know what you think of the base. I think it starts looking really good. I know it's not a big massive design as other people can do and very very appealing. It's more um, the opposite but um, I think we're getting there. I think it's slowly getting there. Anyway look at this. I upgraded already all the sides. I'm making a ceiling which is gonna go a little bit higher on that side and overall I don't think this looks too shabby to be honest. I like this design. I'm actually going to try to copy that exact design on the other side, though I can't with the boxes, but in general, I think I will try to copy that exact design on the other side. So just so it looks the same. And then here, everything is just solid. And here we're going to have that design in place. Now, when it comes to the roof, the roof is starting already over here. It's kind of flush with that, but we're going to make this this part here a little bit higher. And then we're going to build the roof on top of that. And then the roof will open up completely, I think, about here into a very high peak that goes onto, the, onto a um, platform, I think. We'll see. I haven't really made my mind up yet exactly how we're going to do it. But overall, I think it looks really, it's starting to look really, really good to my uh, abilities anyway. Okay, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope I see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And see you guys next time. Until then, as always, viel Spaß.
and happy gaming. So one of the things that we're gonna try out, I can't put the muzzle stuff on the shotgun, by the way, I tried. It doesn't work, but it's funny because it's highlighted. So if we look at the shotgun and modify it, we can put, oh, we can't put anything in. Why is that? It's like my shotgun is broken or something. Can I take this out? And we can put that in. Oh, okay. So we can either make it a sawn of shot. That is weird. Okay, so you cannot apply all three of them at the same time. So can we put that one in? We can. Okay, so this diverts the propellant gases to reduce recoil. Okay, that's fine. Increases projectile spread. That's fine. Modifies the spread to a horizontal pattern instead of a normal round one. Horizontal pattern. Okay, so it goes wide, which makes sense. So high is not important. Wide is important. So I suppose they all modify the front of the shotgun, and that's why you can only use one of them. Semi, you can't put the semi in. Sadly not. It would have been nice. You guys asked me to try it out. Anyway, as you can see, we have four date, uh, date traps. Yeah, date traps, dart traps, and um, we have the plate traps here. We have another generator bank here which is awesome and we have all these mods yeah i think i'm gonna stick with the bill then yeah absolutely oh balls oh balls holy balls a rooney okay what do we have here excellent we already have the motorcycle part one i know longest outro ever isn't it <laughs> i'm gonna have that very good let's see what we get with our knifey on goods. Nice. 13 height. Beautiful. Loads of bones. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. Six bones. That's amazing. It's two dogs per bone. Two bone per dogs. Okay, so let's see what we can do with the motorbike. There we go. There's all the ingredients and here we go look at that 52 seconds nice let's get some fuel and now here we go i hope that was worth the outro i hope you enjoy these outros when they're a little bit longer why not so but the good thing about the dart traps is i can make the ammunition for it so i don't have to wait like you know for these guys and i hope four dart traps and I queued up 4,000, I think, um, darts. So, which means each of them a 1,000 darts, 4,000 darts during the night. It should be enough. And um, what we might do is only use two dart traps. And, oh, look at that beauty. Nice. Oh, let's check it out. Fill it up. Oh, the sound. That is much faster than if we press space, uh, shift. Oh, yes, this is much better than the bike. 